Hello everybody, this is the Lysol. Welcome to my week 28 roster update for 2023 for my alt account, the Lysol Redux. So let's get started. I've been working on Java in preparation for this project. I put together this spreadsheet here, uh, five characters per tier, three tiers in total. There's a couple of extra ones in there. Uh, I the spreadsheet was for Java, my executor pilots, and I'm putting together a super, super scoundrels team with Bamcat, Dash, IG-11, and Queel for PVE purposes. Uh, so that's why there's a little bit of extra in there, Queel and IG-11 down there. Uh, I'm getting pretty close to this. My one gear character goal per week hasn't quite been met but i've been able to take up multiple characters to g13 in a couple of weeks and uh i'm just in bronzium wiring hell it's there's there's no two ways about it it's just bronzium wiring bronzium wiring bronzium wiring that's the only thing i'm missing in order to be done with this i've got pretty much everything but uh what is it greedo up to g13 at this point so i I just, there's no good way to farm bronzeums, so I'm just kind of stuck for now. Oh, let's go to the gearing, which I have recorded. All right, so I start by activating the TIE Reaper. Uh, I've been farming uh, the Shore Trooper out of regular energy nodes. So that has given me just the Thai Reaper shards. I, you know, it's it's a ship. I'm probably going to continue farming it after I get done with the uh, Shore Trooper. Adding some skills to him. I The ship Omega Mats, I'm very cautious about using, especially on ships that I don't actually use yet. So I usually take them up to a point where they require the Omega Mats and then I hold off. I'm basically just trying to juice my GP a little bit here over anything. These reinforcement abilities used to be pretty rare for me, but now I can just do them right away. I've got so many of those mats. All right, then we go into the characters. I'm able to get Aura Sing up to G13, which will be helpful for like a like a Mando Zap team. Uh, I'm able to take Fennec Shan finally to Relic 7, which uh, helped a ton. I was able to kill a Lord Vader today. It was not a great Lord Vader team, like comp or great mods, but for this account, being able to counter Lord Vader with Fennec Shan was so clutch. Uh, it wound up not meaning anything because it was in a zone I couldn't clear but it was nice to be able to try something out, really have no clue what I'm doing and go in there and beat it, which gave me a false sense of security when I tried the same thing on my main later in the day. Uh, I take a look at Greedo and it's these goddamn injector cell salvages. Those take forever to farm. They never drop. I always get the like flashlight ones instead. I've got, I'm pretty sure all the gear I need to take all of my characters that I'm working on up to G13. Uh, except for those injector cells things. I'm able to take Commander Ahsoka Tano up to G13. I'm not putting relic levels on her until after I get Jabba. I'm probably going to hold off on relic levels on Quill, IG-11, and Cat until after I get Jabba. Although Jabba will take a while to farm, so maybe I don't have to. So I just lock down all of the gear that I can for Greedo. Uh, I'm legit like, I think I can just pick up these 10. No, I couldn't. But I'm, I'm at this point, I think I'm one gear piece away from getting Greedo up to G13. And that's my entire job of requirements. Uh, then I start looking around at what I want to be working on. I don't have a lot of credits. It's not worth taking up my Inquisitors until I have more of what I need. And it's the mods, too, that are a big pain in the ass. I'm going to have a hard time with the mods. I've started building mod sets on my alt accounts 
for the Inquisitors for the Reva mission, and it sucks. <laughs> it takes a while. Uh, I'm kind of working on my Darth Revan here, so I take Basti Fallen up. I think I just add some skills to HK here. I might take him up a gear level or two. Yeah, so I can get his unique. Uh, at the gear level they're at right now, though, I still haven't been able to really beat. It's that uh, Ajunta Paul mission. I can't get through it. Uh, but their gear is not very good. So I, I, I'm going to slowly working on them in the background, getting them up to where they can get there. And then when I unlock Darth Revan, I'll, I'll start doing the same for Malak. Uh, I take a look here at Death Trooper. He needs a ton of these things. Everybody needs a ton of these things. Uh, I was working on Sith Empire Trooper out of Cantina, but this chase that they added, the uh, bonus drops, got me there without having to spend any more Cantina energy on it, which was very, very nice. So I take him up to gear 11. I think I wind up, a lot of these Iden Troopers are not modded. I wind up going back later and just throwing some mods on them. Just something. This is just like a back wall defensive team for me. It's just something to put down. Where am I going now? Oh, yeah. I start looking at Galactic Republic because I need to start thinking about gas. I'm at five and a half million and I don't have gas yet. So I need to just, I need to start thinking about it. And then Separatists as well. None of them are relic except for General Grievous, who's the only one that's not required for the mission. So I, I think I take him up to, yeah, I take him up to 10, Droidica. And uh, yeah, then I call it good from there, I think. So tracking from 7.9 to 7.16, I went from 5.554 to 5.607 million. That's a 50. 50,000, just under 50,000 uh, game. Uh, I stayed at 103 Zetas. I stayed at 10 Omicrons. I now have 56 G13s and I'm down to 17 G12s and up to 17 G11s. So for next week, we're looking at this, but there's no reason to look at it uh, because I've locked down most of this gear. Basically, all I need right here are the power cell salvages which never drop and all of the characters i'm working on require that g12 finisher piece so my plan for next week we're on dark side light side doing btl bomber i only have like 60 shards of that left to go i cannot wait till it's done Iden, shore trooper kairos and salvage shore troopers almost done Iden's almost done I'm in a good position there. I can then, I, I'm not sure what I'm gonna move to from there. Possibly Jedi Knight Cal, maybe towards Afra. I'm not entirely certain where I'm gonna go from there. Uh, Cantina, I'm doing signal data. In fleets, I'm farming Marin, resistance ships, med packs, scanners, some gold pieces, just depending on what I need day to day. And my goal for next week is to have C-3PO at R7, have a Relic Zero uh, Greedo, and then maybe put some Relic levels on some of my uh, uh, Jabba requirements. But we'll see how that works out. Again, I'm in Bronzium Wiring House, so taking 3PO from R5 to R7 might tap me out. Anyway, thanks for coming guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like, subscribe, comment in the comment section down below, and you can join me on Twitch or Discord. Both have links in the description. I hope to see you guys there.